Hey everyone, here I have with me an SQL problem that was shared to me by Sanpeet Singh. It's a very interesting problem. There is a slight complexity or I would say a slight confusion in solving this problem. So in this video, let us try to solve it. And of course, as always, first let us understand the problem statement, analyze the data, and then we will try to give my solution, okay? So the problem statement states, using the below sample table, write an SQL query to return the count of people whose grandparent is alive. So we are given this table, it has three fields. The first field is the name of the person, then we have the name of the parent, and then we have the status of the person. The important thing to note here is, this last field which tells if the person is alive or dead is the status of the person, it is not the status of the parent, okay? So this status here is the status of this person, it is not the status of this parent, okay? Now, let us try to solve it, but before that we will need to analyze this data, okay? So what I'll do is, I'm going to create the same table. In fact, I have already created the same table in my database. I'm using the PostgreSQL database and I'm using the PG admin tool. You can use any database of your choice. Okay. So I already have this table. It has the same data as shown in this problem statement. If we analyze this data first, even before we get into our solution, you can see that I have this person, then I have this parent. Person, I can also refer to him like a child, right? So this will be my child. This will be my parent. I do not have grandparent here right? My problem statement tells me that I need to find the number of people whose grandparents are alive. First of all, in this table, there is no grandparent directly given. So I need to somehow come up with a logic to find out the grandparent. We'll see how to do that later. Okay. But first of all, let's focus on the child and the parent. I can see that I have the child A, B, X, Y, X1 and Y1. Then I have the parent. So I can say the parent of A is X, parent of B is Y, parent of X is X1 and so on and so forth. Right. But the interesting thing to note here is if I look at these parents, I have X, Y, X1 and Y1. I can see that these four parents are also present in the my first column that is in the person's column. So this means that these four parents are also child to some other parents, right? That means X1, Y1, X2 and Y2 are actually the grandparents. So in other words, A ka parent is X and X ka parent is X1. That means the grandparent of A is X1, the grandparent of B is Y1, the grandparent of X is X2, the grandparent of Y is Y2. I hope you are able to understand this relationship. A ka parent is X, X ka parent is X1. So I can say A ka grandparent is X1, right? So by doing this analysis, I can see that X, Y, X1, Y1 are parents and the grandparents of X, Y, X1, Y1 are X1, Y1, X2 and Y2, right? So X1, Y1, X2 and Y2 are my grandparents, right? Okay, not my grandparents, but the grandparents as per this table, right? Now, out of these four, how many are alive and how many are dead? Now, you could easily see that I have this status here, but do not misunderstand this status to be the status of these grandparents, okay? This status that you see here are the status of these persons. It is not the status of these grandparents, right? So, I somehow need to come up with the logic where I return the child, then I return the grandparent, then I return the status of the grandparent, not the status of the child, the status of the grandparent. And then I put a logic such that I, or I put a filter to only return the alive grand, uh, records where the grandparents are alive, right? So even before I solve this, the first thing that I will need to do, in fact, I'm going to split this into a couple of parts. The first part is I'm going to write a query, which is going to return me child. Then it's going to return me parent. Then it's going to return me the grand parent okay once i have these once i write a query which is going to return me these three values then i will come up with the logic to return the status of grandparent and then i'll put the final filter okay so can you imagine of a logic that you could use to use this one table to return the three values child parent and grandparent right so that means you need to join the values from this field with the values from this field, okay? But everything is present in the same table. So what logic of SQL could you probably use to solve this? If you have some idea, let me know in the comments below. And probably you could pause this video, leave your leave a comment where you think what the possible solution is, and then you can come back and watch this video. Now, before I can show you my solution to this problem, let's first talk about the sponsor of today's video, which is Audience School. Now, Audience School is an online platform that offers bootcamp in data science and web development. So let's say you are someone who is looking for your very first job 
or let's say you want to transition your career from a non-IT background into data science or let's say you already have a job but you want to upgrade your skills and you want to get a better job or let's say you have a long career gap and you want to get a job. Then these are the boot camps that are offered by Audience School that you should definitely check out. Now, there are several different benefits that are offered by Audience School and some of them that I would like to highlight are each of these boot camps conducted by Audience School are live and interactive classes where you have teachers with whom you can clarify your doubts and who are always willing to help you. Audience School also offers job assistance. Now, do not misunderstand job assistance with job guarantee. No company or no course can guarantee you a job, but Audience School definitely offers you job assistance. Now, I know that for sure because I did speak to one of the ex-students of Audience School who was assisted in her job search and who was able to get a job after 16 years of cap. Audience School also has the option where you can apply for scholarships and you can make the payment through EMI. And Audience School also has a 10-day refund policy and much more. Now, you can check out the hundreds of different success stories where people were able to successfully transition their career with the help of these boot camps conducted by Audience School. I'll leave the link to these success stories in the video description. You'll also find another link in the video description which is about the upcoming data science boot camp. So definitely check that out. And thank you once again, Audience School, for sponsoring this video. Now, in my opinion, you can solve this probably in a couple of ways, but I think the easiest way to solve this problem is just by using self-join. Why? Because if you look at the person's table, I have the child, that is the person is the child. I have the child, I have the parent. And if I need the grandparent, I need to take the values in the parent field, join it with the person's field, then I will get the grandparent. So I need to join or match one of the fields from one table with the, some other fields of that same table. That means I need to join a table to itself. This concept is basically called as self-join, right? So I can just use the concept of self-join to probably come up with my final output, okay? So what I'll do is I'll just uh, move this down and I'm just going to call this table like C and I'll just zoom out a little so that I have a little more space to write my query, okay? So I'm just going to say select start from persons and I'll say C dot person as child, I'm just going to give a more meaningful alias so that it becomes easier to understand because I know my first field is child, right? And my second field that is C dot uh, parent, I will call them like, okay, they are parent itself. So let them be parent. Okay. And then what about my grandparent? So I do not have grandparent here, right? But in order to get the grandparent, I need to join this field with this field from the same table, right? So what I'll do is I'll use self join. I'm just going to say join persons. And this time I'm going to call it like P, okay? Now, whenever you're using self-join, it's very important to use meaningful aliases, okay? Because the table names are the same, but the aliases will kind of define what that table stands for. My first table here stands for child. The second table here stands for parent, okay? And how do I join it? Now, I know that when I consider this whole table to be the child table, this parent field is basically the parent of the child, right? So if I say C dot parent, okay, that is the parent. And then when I consider the person's table to be the parent, the first field, the person's field will basically be the parent, right? So I could just tell C dot parent is equal to P dot person, okay? So I hope you're able to understand this because I'm joining the same table to itself, but both the table that I've taken I consider different meaning for both the tables. The first table, I'm considering it to be like the child. So it will have information about the child, the parent, and some status. The second table is the person. So it will have information about the parent, then the parent of the parent, that means the grandparent, and then some status, right? So I'm taking the parent from the child table, which should be equal to the person from the parent table, right? So this is how I'm doing the join. And here I can just fetch one field, from the parent table, if I fetch the parent, it should be my grandparent, right? And that is why I'm going to give an alias like grandparent. Now, if I run this, now you can see that I'm getting four records and you can see that I have the child A, B, X, Y and their grandparents are or, or their parents are X, Y, X1, Y1 and their grandparents are X1, Y1, X2 and Y2. This is exactly what I had explained earlier, right? Now, you might consider why am I not getting six records? Why am I only getting four records? The reason for that is, you see this X2 and Y2, this is only present in the parent column, but it is not present in the person's column. So when I do this join, that record will get missed out and I don't really need that. Why? Because these are the two parents who do not 
whose parent information or the grand grandparent information is not present in this table. So if the grandparent information is not present in this table, I don't really need to take it. Okay. But if you still want to fetch it, you can still fetch it by using a left join. Okay. So now if I run it, now you can see that I'll also get information about x2 and y2. Okay. But there is no status. So you see here x1 and y1 are the child x2, y2 are their parents, but they do not have, or maybe they have the grandparents, but their information is not present in our database. Okay. And that is why the grandparent is mentioned as null. Okay. So now I have this, but just to make it more clear, what I'll do is I'll just comment out this parent information. I do not need parent. I only want the child and the grandparent, right? And then I want to count the number of child or number of persons whose grandparent is alive. So if I run this whole query, you can see that I'm getting the six records. If I just make this up, I have these six childs, A, B, X, Y, X1 and Y1. And I see that grandparents are X1, Y1, X2 and Y2. This last two persons or child do not have grandparents. At least our database does not have information about their grandparents. Okay. So I have these four grandparents that I have got. Now what I want is I want the status of these four grandparents. Okay. Now I am already using the person's table twice, one as a child and second as a parent. But in each of this table, in the child's table, the status is of the child. In the parent's table, the status that I have is the parent status. I do not have the grandparent status, right? In order to get the grandparent status, can you imagine what should I do? Yes. What I basically should do is I should join this to the person's table again. And then I should treat that third person's table as the grandparent's table. So what I'll do is I'll say self left join persons, I'll call it G, G stands for grandparents on, how do I join it? Now in my persons table, the P dot parent, P dot parent will basically be the grandparent, right? And that will be equal to the grandparents table person column, right? This is how I'm going to do the join. And then when I'm fetching the status, I'm just going to say G dot person status. And this, I will call it like grand parent status. Okay. Now, if I run this whole query, now I think you are getting the final output. Okay. Maybe not the final output, but kind of like the complete picture. I have six persons here. Grandparents for six of them. I only have information about four grandparents. Out of these four grandparents, I only have the status of two grandparents. I do not have the status of X2 and Y2 because you see here for X2 and Y2, they are not present in this first column. So I do not have their status, right? So I only have the status of X1 and Y1. So these X1 and Y1 are my grandparents. And then I can see that one is alive and one is dead. Now I'm only interested in fetching the ones who are alive. So I can just put a filter condition here saying that where grandparent status or this field that is G dot person status is equal to alive. Okay. And now if I run this, this is kind of like my final out. That means the total number of people whose grandparents are alive is just one. Okay. So if you want the exact output, you could just say select count of one and this will be number of people, right? And this is my final output. That is one. Okay. So I hope you were able to understand and I hope you found this query interesting, this problem interesting. If you did leave a comment below, also like the video and that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching and see you soon in the next one. Bye.